Welcome to the Wasteland News Network. I am still in the public test server, the PTS, and we're on our way to the Big Meadows Gas Well, one of the new locations on the map with the new map expansion that's coming this summer. For with each place I visit, I learn a little bit more about what's going on in this area rather than just rushing to the middle of the map or doing the event. I'm kind of picking away at it, trying to figure out what all of this mystery is about and how it relates to Vault 63, a vault we've not been able to get into yet. But now with all the events going on here about weather and lightning and all kinds of stuff, we're starting to find out a little bit more. So let's take a look at the Big Meadows gas well. Besides it all being walled off, let's take a look. There we go. Always looking for little things. And yes, I do, do miss stuff too. Okay, there's the well. We still have the vortex going on. There we are. Highly flammable. I guess I should take out the cremator now. Blow the map to pieces. Okay, we've got, looks like uh, another group has already been through here. There we go, our Discovery Big Meadows gas well. Okay, let's see how close I can put down my tent. I think a few little guys have just woken up. Makes sense for mole miners to be around here. Okay, let's see what we can see. I heard one. Oh, there he is, up there. Quads are so good. Okay. Don't see anything on the tables, like a note or anything. Uh-oh. Nothing on the bulletin boards. Okay, let's take care of these rad scorpions first. Okay, I think it's quite enough to go exploring. Let's try this little trailer here. And we at least have a working terminal. Foreman terminal. Richard Harrison. Damn site terminal is acting up again. I've asked Nathan to contact Tim again to come out tomorrow and get it fixed for Monday. Need to get September's casualty, casualty report ready. An employee report. Uh, Mr. Osborne is a recent employee having joined five months ago. Quiet. Uh, last few weeks he's been spotted climbing up to the top of the tower during his shifts. And untrue in that he's a true patriot. Um... Flagged by management as evidence that Mr. Osborne may be a communist sympathizer. Okay, so they're going to contact the proper authority. So he's climbing up even when the site is closed. Okay, Mr. Osborne. Okay, who knows what's going on. Maybe we can get to the top of the tower in a little bit. Just going to have a look around the site. Uh-oh, they're all respawning. And not anymore. Don't see any working machinery around there. Let's check out this trailer. And another terminal. Terminal... What? <laughs> I think he stuck the screwdriver in the back. Oh, there's a note. Stuck the screwdriver in the back. Note for Tim. Sorry for calling you on your day off to things on the fritz again. And Richard says he needs it sorted by Monday. Okay, so looks like 
he wanted to have it fixed. Richard Harrison for the casualty report. Okay. 2nd September, electrocution, unplanned landing with ground. Repairing a lighting fixture. Data lost, obviously. Okay, 15th September, welding torch gas explosion. Hmm. And the 18th, head trauma due to personal negligence. Okay, so there's been a few casualties at this site, including this guy who jumped a screwdriver into the back of a monitor. Okay. Interesting. Well, that's just piled. Don't worry about that. Um, first thing I noticed is the the hash, the yellow black hash marks right there. It's usually a pipe repair. So this could be the site of a future event that's going to take place here. Um, I've been seeing a lot of valves. It looks like something that needs repairing. Okay. And yet, yeah, obviously here too. So we will see these as we go further into the public test server and they gradually bring more things in for us. Maybe something there, but I don't know. Since Fallout 4, we got to go into these weird sewer things for uh, the railroad. It's still pretty cool to check everything. Okay. Let's take a look. And see if there's any kind of a mechanical switch. The other areas, at least the ones with the lightning harvesters, had, you know, glowing buttons that would do something later. This just looks like a, nothing going on. Okay. Oh, it's the tower tower. Okay, let's see what's on this gas holding tank. That's what I'm going to call it. This looks like another area. Ooh, it's kind of pink. Um, another valve. Let's check out this tank holding area and see if there's anything up there. Trying to get around the fenced areas. And these videos are nice and quiet, nice and slow. You don't want to rush this. This has been a long time since we've had an actual map update. So kind of want to take my time doing this. That's definitely the tower. But there wasn't a way up there yet, so we'll figure that out. Let me go this way. Let's see what's up here. This is half the fun, or more than half the fun, is exploring the map and finding places to camp and everything. So nothing here, no notes. Nice overview of the area. Okay. Let's see if we can get up there here. A little bit of personal jetpacking. Yep, we can get across this. Maybe there'll be something down here. Looks like this was Osborne's walkaway over to... Oh boy. There's no way over there. I'm going to try jetpacking over there and see if I can make it. Let's see if we've got enough to do that. It is a considerable distance, and there's no way that you'll be able to grab onto a ladder or anything that doesn't... Yeah, you can see the ladder in the middle is broken, like there might have been a wooden uh, walkway across there that he cut, blew up, whatever. Let's grab some AP regen help. And, and, and. Okay, we're here. Let's see if we can get to that other piece up there. See if there's any more evidence up there. If I don't fall off first. Okay. A little bit more jetpacking. I'm so out of practice too. Take a bunch. I don't think so. Oh, I think I did. Okay, we did. 
Oops, that were up a little higher. There we go. Okay, we got a teddy, duffel bag, a body. Looks like somebody shot themselves. No name. This could be this Osborne guy. Ah, uh, sleeping bag up here too. Looks like he was hiding out here. Then, oh, sniper rifle. So, hmm. Okay, so we know the guy was up here. He either pushed the wood aside or cut the ladder or something and had a sniper rifle kind of pointing to the, like, northeast somewhere over that way near the deadly Yagwai, of course. Okay, so we are finishing up here at Big Meadows Gas Well. And I think we'll head to that area, I think over that way. I think it's called Rapidin Camp. Let's take another look at the map. All right, yeah, we'll head here next. Thanks so very much for watching, and I'll see you at the next episode.